All right, guys, I'm doing this really quick because this video is literally every single thing wrong. <laughs> Nobody should do any of these things. It's, it's almost hard for me to believe. that anybody's buying this. If you said, I'll show it to a behaviorist, I'll show it to trainers. And it's that bad. So let's just run through it here. This is a Labradoodle, which I say all the time. If you said, show, I've got every kind of fucking doodle on my channel, Labradoodle, Golden Doodle, Aussie Doodle, every doodle. You're gonna get them for training because people like them, but they're mischievous and fast. <laughs> so let's roll footage here. All right, guys, in here. Wait. Labrador that lived her entire life on a bench. Um, also, also. It starts out with him patting the dog on the head. If he said, "What's the dog doing?" It's doing this. Oh, hi, Elsa. You don't even know. Elsa knows, though. It's the same thing as the bad rescues that are just taking people's money but not really rescuing dogs. You know all about these people, girl, and it's the same thing with the training. If you said, how is anybody being fooled? He's literally ruining the dog to the tune of thousands of dollars. It's unbelievable. Anyway, I put the video right below, so here we go. If you said, who is this guy? Oh, he's an ex-cop, big chest sticking out, puffing up, trying to come on my video, telling me I didn't know what I was doing and get the, uh, get the hell out of the way for the Ridge Sideway because they're franchising and he's writing a book. If you said he's the worst trainer, yes. Very reactive to stem. He's going so like this. He says some phallic. Yeah, he didn't let his stem. Let me take my phallic symbol remote and go like this with it, Taylor. Because what this idiot doesn't know is that the original Tritronics remote was a fucking phallic symbol remote. Yes, Elsa, it's true. It's true. If you said, well, what was nine inches long and this big around? And this guy's taking it going like this. He doesn't need a lot of stim. I bet you don't, Taylor. So it's like that thing through there, Aaron. Well, Jerry figured out Elaine was faking it. He's got to be calling every girlfriend he ever had. He's now patting his leg. He's doing the shake off. He's rubbing it. So we started with tone, went to low stem for a minute, and then back to tone. If you said what amount of time, like one second. He says place, he hits the stem, it runs away, does the shake off. He's, he's pointing at it two inches from it. Little resistful, her whole life she's been resistful. We're going to assist with the leash while giving very low stem. So he's. Everything turns off. Using. If you said he's pulling it and, and using the collar and right by him? Yeah. Now, a lot of times on videos when you see dog trainers working, you're missing the nuances. You're missing oh, he's the missing every nuance. Pressure, low stem, vibration, tone, all kinds of stuff. Pinch collar pressure, martingale, flat collar. There's all kinds of stuff going on that you oftentimes miss in a video. Yeah, Very exactly, Taylor. That's why you need to set it in slow-mo. The fact that he does not see all his petting, the effect it's having. When I say low stem, we're on a too low on the 550. You cannot even feel it on most human hands. That, that's how low it is. Right here. I'm then like, the dog can't feet. feel it. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Go, go. So far. So he said it's far. really excited about the petting. So he said he's basically pulling it over there to give it the stimulus. Yeah. Cool. I'm going to turn it off now because her front paws are on it. Later, this will advance to her whole body needs to be on it to be active. This is the end of the training. He's already said they've worked it off the prong and it's off leash trained. Back on tone. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Use your brain. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. 
She said it seems to really like the putting. If you said that's going to result in a dog going to the... It's doing everything in its power to get away. Why wouldn't it? That's the only place it's happening. Good. Okay, so she has to learn the game, and that's why we're here to help her. That's why we use long lines. Yeah, because you're an amateur, Taylor. If you tell someone a long line's training wheels and they say we use it for safety, you say, exactly. And again, again, until she learns the game. She doesn't have clarity right now. Tone's on, only tone. Good girl. Tactile touching. Yeah, if you good. said by the end it's running completely away, turn on, yeah. turn on, turn on. Hey, ain't nobody want your touching, a Taylor. Block, a bit of block. Kneeing low it. Stem, low stem, low he's stem. kneeing it. Now he's, so carrier, as he calls it, stem. stimming it. Leash, leash pressure guidance. Come on. Shake off. Good girl. More of his tactile affection. If you said the only place the stim is happening is right by this cot, yeah. If you said it was confused and thought he wanted it to come, yeah. Pushes the butt. If you said that's amateur hour, it's not even pet on her hour. Very doesn't make any right, sense. Right <laughs> Snaps his fingers. Right. Low stem. Oh my God. Low stem, low stem. If you say he's doing it right by him, yeah. <laughs> Got his long line. Look at it looking away. It's going to do the shake off. He already tells us. Said it's facing away. Mm -hmm. He said that's a red flag. Yeah. Wait till you see what's getting ready to happen. Knock it off. What police dogs has this guy ever trained? Has some issues. It's, um, there's other ways to do it, and this is another way. So I'm allowing the dog to learn on its own terms. I don't put a timetable on it. I don't put a number of reps on it. When it works, it works. And all of a sudden, we'll have a light bulb go off. And what's awesome is that this dog has come a long way from where we started. So it may look a little it's nasty. It's just right sitting there. It's not even moving. Um, just takes reps. Here, tone on. Gone. Overshot, yeah. That wasn't an accident, Taylor. So if you said he's loading this cot with this stem. Yeah, getting stressed. I'm stressed a second. If you said we should expect to shake off, yeah. This is where he does the same thing with that golden retriever. Play, gone. He literally grabs the tail. Stop. Fucking stop. Clean up very, very quickly. He literally grabs the tail when it's running by. Right there. Grabs it there, but it's gone. Whoops, hang on. Operate this thing very good. Okay. Gone. It's, it's saying to itself, I've got to get away from this guy. This is just, oh, my system's overloaded. 
unbelievable. Doing good. Yes! Hold on. Phone stays on. If you said that was, uh, you should juxtapose that with your recalls and you'll be embarrassed. I'm going to. You know you want to train. No, it doesn't want to train, Taylor. It's, now, now it's gone. Look at this idiot. Gone. Literally leaving the shot. Now watch. There's a slow-mo version of it, too. It's very interesting. You said watch it while I work out. That's what I do. If this love is working, why is this dog gone? It's looking at who's ever got the camera saying, help me. Look at the look on its face. If he says, is he giving it a bath? Yes, my mom. So again, it's never looked we're talking at him. About tone, for those who don't know, Karen, stop. We're talking about he said, what, what, in slow-mo, he goes like this. Great, this guy can't be any fun to live with. It makes an audible tone next to the dog's ear. Beep. No stem, no vibration, no anything. Just tone. So we're communicating through a no constant. He said, there's Here's his little sound. phallic move again. He can't keep his hands off the dog. Do you honestly think this guy can keep his hands off himself? <laughs> That's all. Lots of reps. That was just watching slow mo too. Big blockhead. Uh, has a face bite. Very aggressive dog when he came. And we Can't keep his hands off this one either. Instead of like our working dogs, where we unlocked the predator, we have unlocked the puppy. We've made his whole life about having. So this is the graduation. Oh, yeah. So this, that's my French bulldog. Hang on. People should tell him that's what people should tell people that's what they do. It actually bites at his leg. He said after he pressures it. Yeah. So he's hitting. It, if you said he's hitting it with the collar to get it to sit. Yeah. The system we use for the skittish dog, a little bit of correction right there, he's hungry, okay? Correction asking, for what? We're using two medium, that's it, two medium. You can barely feel it on the human hand. This guy does not I'm understand an e-collar at all. Correcting it for what? It's not designed to be used for corrections. That's where these correction. people are so far off base. Now, if you said, what should we expect? By the end, this dog is going to. For little puppies, for big dogs, Dangerous, for skittish, for nervous, for aggressive, for all this stuff. If you said, does this guy have a finished dog on his page? No. Communication, communication. Yes. Market training. Way to do it all. Pushes it into a set. I want him to know I have food. I want some attention. He tells him to look at it with sunglasses on. Yeah, thank God, Taylor. Because if they don't have any food drive, this guy can't fucking conjure it. We don't care about your groin, Taylor. You got every dog shoved up in your groin as it is. Nine. Tells it to watch his eyes with sunglasses on. With sunglasses on! Telling it to look at his eyes. And then go, if you said that's from watching Caesar Milan, that's the only thing I can figure. If you said, what's that? We're kicking around. That's Nick White. That's what Nick White does. He makes them stay and then does weird behaviors. You just go back real quick. If you said, should we do anything like this? No. So if you said, that's the distraction. What about like another dog or something? I know, right? So I'm making him wait. I want him to look up. He tells it to look at his eyes. He's got sunglasses on. He said, well, he watches Larry Crown and Larry's got sunglasses on too. If he said, what is this shit? That's a little crazy. Say a bunch of crazy things. Yeah, that's about sums it up. If he said, should you do anything? No. If he said, dogs get ready to be gone. Give a little bit of pressure behind so he'll drop back down. Now, the reason I'm kind of cheating the system, I'm being a little bit lazy. Typically, we do a market training, guys. You want the food separated. Mark comes in, pause, retrieve, reward, right? 
This dog dog is so Trade. excited when I bark and he drools like this. It's disgusting. And if I say Y E S and I don't have something to put in his mouth, his mouth is coming to me. And I'm then covered in this drool. Get over it, Taylor. Like said, Jesus Christ. It's like you some clean freak. So, with him, because I don't want to be covered in slobber, I have something ready to put in his mouth. So that way he will avoid not avoid. Right. Sit, hits him with the collar. The dog is thinking to himself, got to be someplace better than here. He's already bit at his leg earlier. He has learned that his behavior activates correction. His behavior removes correction. I have nothing to do with it. He has no ability, reason, or Nothing to do with it. You're the only thing there, and you're two feet from the dog. If it's done correctly. It's going to go away from him here in a second. Watch. I don't prep anything. This is a part of the uniform. Collar goes on, food comes in, everything is here. He's getting ready. It says I'm out of here. If you said the tell was earlier when it looked. Now, the box. Shaping box, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of different things for this. I call it the Zero Dark 30 uh, interrogation box. With, uh, I'm going to mess this up. Canine Services Unlimited. I got it right. Down there at Knoxville, Tennessee, he's, he's, a, he's a master at shaping dolls. He's really, really good. Old school. Well, let's show it to this guy then. Awesome Whoever this guy is, let's find him and ask um, him, is this any good? If you watch his videos, he uses the shed, right? So he uses the whole room. There's a lot of benefits. Okay, so the dog is like getting ready to exit. If you said it was all there. Get up here. Yep. Get up here. Now. Is this chasing after it? In case you're not sure what he's doing right there, he's trying to activate me. He's trying to go to a different place. He's so trying to get away from you. Um, it's not a wrong nor a right. He's kind of wrong to go to the place, but he's trying to activate the games right now. So we're, we're yeah, he's getting ready to leave. Watch. But again, the correction on that one. He needs to calm down a little bit. Um, calm I like down. the box over the room for my setup. Calm and down. And I got a lot of cool places to train on my property, and I move the box all the way around. But if you have a dog that's highly confused, I take the box and I put it in a quiet room and use it in there. So anyway, that's, that's, that's it, guys. I watch. Whether it's be gone. skittishness, nervousness, timidness, overreactivity, whatever, the Bye. rules don't change. Here. Get over here. Good. Fuck, fuck. He's got to go to the bathroom, I bet you. This mm -hmm. big guy does his own. He's yeah. on the program. But we've come a long way. <laughs> Rich Shot K9. Mohammed Alfaris. Good evening. Good evening. You want to get close to the microphone? Anyway, the bottom line is proximity is everything to dogs. If the only place that this is happening is right by you, if you're within this dog's 15 foot reactionary gap, the subconscious dog is plans to take action, it's hardwired into him. If you said what he's actually doing is driving these dogs, he's grabbing at the tail while they're running away. I'm gonna do screen grabs. He's actually tangled in the long line. If you said you just hate this, I do hate this guy. I think that this motherfucker is trying to get in the way of what I'm doing here. That is serious work. And we got this guy puffing his chest out, talking a bunch of bullshit. Getting zero result. I've never seen anybody stand there. Do you see me in my videos going? With no dog? Bottom line, this is the Larry Crone method. All, they're all doing it. They're trying to say we're going to communicate with the stem. And we're going to use it as a prompt. If you said for come and sit at the same time. Yeah. That's what they tell them to do. I'll go get the Larry Crow and flow chart. You're supposed to hit it with every single command. If you said, what all commands does it know? If you said, well, what about the three action introduction? No, they, they don't talk about that. If you said, if you got Taylor on here right now, he could explain the three action intro. We don't have any idea what he's talking about. If you said, you're actually trying to claim that Taylor's not in the same league with you. Yeah, I am. I'm a dog trainer and a behaviorist. Everything I'm doing is based on science. I'm carrying on the work of Phil Stobbs. And if this idiot is carrying on the work, work of Larry Crone, 
he said, juxtapose your work and Taylor's work and show it to behaviorist, people with advanced degrees, various people that don't know either one of you and you're fairly confident not a single one will pick him. Yeah, I am. They're so stupid that they don't know what, that what they're doing. It's sort of like if you're around somebody and they've always got just a little dig. Oh, what happened there? Uh, you know. Oh, you know, like every, every hoodie I have has bleach stains on. Oh, what happened there? Okay, well, you know, this is how they are. If you said, then what? Then I keep doing it. Oh, what's wrong with your glasses? What's wrong with this? What's wrong with that? Why are you... Pretty soon you start saying to yourself, yeah, that is how they are. And I don't like that. <laughs> it's true. That is how they are. And I don't like that. And I've noticed that when I'm not around them, that doesn't happen. There are, until you can understand you're training the subconscious dog. So if you said well, you're training the subconscious dog by the fact that you're using the pager to amplify food drive and by you being in proximity to the <laughs> amplification and the source of this food drive, you're getting the level of engagement you do. You've got dogs going five feet off the ground. You can't even explain it. You can't even explain it. If you said, hmm, I've asked around and let me show you 10 other people who are taking house pets and turning them into working dogs like you are. Taylor's correcting dogs for moving one foot. Every single dog is shut down and running away from them. That's why they have long lines. And if these people say long lines aren't training wheels, then I say, what are they? And if they say safety, your response is, exactly, training wheels. I actually, if you're there, Sharon, the back fell off of this thing. And I was trying to make the manners mind work. And I thought it was clogged. It wouldn't work. And then somehow I looked, I said, oh my God, the back fell off. The battery's gone. So I found the back over there on the floor. So I got the battery. It would be fun. I said, I got an extra battery in that old manners mind, Dad. You said you tore the house apart looking for that battery? I thought I probably had a spare somewhere. If you said, did you? No. If you said, I said, it's got to be here somewhere. If you said, did you find it? No. I got up this morning at like 1.30 and vacuumed the whole house like I do every day. No sign of it. She said, then what? Then out of the blue, all of a sudden, I'm walking into my room and right by the bottom of the baby gate, there it is. <laughs> 